not a comeback without Thomas on TV. All right, well, I am super duper happy we're making television history, Fox 8 history, Kenny history, Cleveland history. We're going live from the Five Mile Crib. Learned so much today about water quality, the history of the men and women who helped build this, and not to mention everybody from the water department who came out to help us, including, you know, Scott and Liz and our and our and our boat drivers, our captain, so it's totally cool. So this is interesting. Some of the cleanest and safest drinking water comes out of our tap. Is that right, Scott? That's correct, Kenny. There the, you uh, go. That's and, our critical <laughs> mission, providing safe uh, and adequate quantities of drinking water, and not just meeting the rules, but mm -hmm. also meeting our customers' expectations. There's about 200 things that can, you know, I, I, we can find in the water, and we've knocked ours down to single digit. Yes, and uh, most of those are the result of having to do particular treatments. So they're going to be there anyways, so and they're not harmful. Two buoys we want to show them. The first buoy is the Garrett Morgan buoy, and why is that one important? Well, that's uh, uh, that buoy marks our Garrett Morgan intake, which uh, is from 1916, mm -hmm. and uh, is the um, namesake for our Garrett Morgan treatment plant. Right. Garrett Morgan was a local inventor who invented uh, the SCBA right. um, to rescue some divers. Um, it's uh, uh, it's one of our four intakes. Yeah. That one submerged. We're standing on the only one that you can actually see. Now to the right, Lamont's going to show us another buoy. This is a It's basically a water labrat research laboratory floating right here on Lake Erie. And it's really instrumental to you guys in the mission when you talk about learning from the source. Correct? It is. Uh, we've expanded our understanding of uh, water treatment. We used to focus on the plants and distribution. We now know to focus also on the lake. And there's a lot of science and a lot of biology, a lot of chemistry that goes on out here. That buoy uh, helps us understand what Lake Erie is throwing at us so that we can adequately treat and are better prepared for what Lake Erie may do. Because you're getting information so far out, how does that help you in the plant? So the information, because it's real-time information, correct? It is. So the information you're getting there, you guys can look on your, your computers and say, this is what's happening out here with algae or whatever. Let's adjust the conditions in the plant even before it gets to the plant, yes. right? Yeah, we, we can begin to anticipate what's coming into our plants instead of waiting until it's on top of us. At the plant, we get anywhere from a four hour to an eight hour lead time of knowing what Lake Erie is throwing at us, and then we can adjust our treatment in anticipation of it. And then that makes sure we get the water cleaner earlier when we have adjustments out here. And we don't get surprised. Yeah. yeah so that it helps us maintain high quality consistent water delivered to our customers. And this was a, a, a task and, and a priority you guys took on about 15 years ago? Uh, we did. Uh, we had uh, that buoy and another one that's uh, about 15 miles offshore to help track us something called the dead zone. Okay. Um, w have been around for a number of years. Uh, just last year, we uh, put two more out here. So we, we have more than Chicago. Uh, we do. We're better we than do. Chicago. They have we one. And, and our, we have four. Our water's better, too. Well done. Our water's better, too. You hear that? <laughs> and a big shout out to Jim Pryder. He was the photog who worked on this for uh, five years to make it happen. He's retired right now, probably drinking his coffee, reading his newspaper, and smoking one of his old pipes. So, uh, Jimmy, this one's for you. Lamont, you're killing it. Bob, thank you so much. I want to thank everybody from the division of the Cleveland Water Department who came out because it took, like a lot of us, one, two, three, four, five. A whole bunch. <laughs> but this is awesome. May Television History, one of my unicorns. I've done it. Bucket list. Live from the Five Mile Crib. I am loving life. All right. Back to you guys in the studio. I'm so happy for you. That was really fun to watch. You did a great job. Thank you, Kenny.